Look, drums are just straight up cool. Everybody loves drums. Except for my dog, who you probably can't see right now. But she will get really upset. She does not like that. Alright. And everybody loves a drummer. Uh, we are going to relate um, what we're learning in trigonometry uh, to some, some of the drums. And I'm really just using a drum because it's a circle. It's not a perfect circle, uh, but it's trying to be. Okay? So, um, first question for you is, how far around this rim do you think, uh, what's that distance? What do you think the distance is around this drum? And if we wanted to use string to measure it, the question could just be, how much string would I need to wrap one time around this rim? All right? How far do you think that is? And it might be further than you think. If you want to take a look at that, how far do you think it is? Well, I got the string, I measured it, and this string length is exactly, is exactly the circumference of this particular drum. It's exactly the circumference of this drum. So if I start at this lug, and I went all the way around, when I say exactly, hopefully you know what I mean. If I go all the way around, oh boy. Oh boy, we're off the rails already. This early in the video, we're off the rails. So go all the way around, and it matches back up right there, even if I stretch it a little bit. So this length of string, this length of string is equal to the circumference of this particular drum, okay? So, so who cares, right? Um, well, mathematicians are actually pretty creative people, and so we're going to connect this concept here. It, it appears in your textbook in uh, section 5.2, if you're using a different textbook, because you're not in my class, welcome, but uh, we're using a, a book, it's in your trigonometry section for pre-calculus, there you go. So, what your book says is that there is, there is a relationship between the length of the string, the length of the string, and how it maps or connects to a particular place on this drum. Assuming, of course, that I start at a particular spot and I go in a particular direction. So I'm going to pick this, this lug right here. You might not be able to see it, but this is a lug. And if I start right here with the string and I, and I wrap the string around it, okay, I'll end up here. We know that because it matches. But what the, what the textbook is saying is that there's a relationship between how much length I pick. So let's say I pick a length of this string, and I'm going to start with the bottom. So this would be like picking zero, length zero. This is length, doesn't matter, but this length, whatever it is. So this length is going to map to a specific location on my drum. So if I start here, and I'm always starting here, and I always go, if I always go counterclockwise, I'm going to end up at a particular spot on the drum, on the rim in this case. Okay, so it's kind of hidden behind the rim, but I would end up there. If I pick a different length, I end up at a different location around the drum, right? It should make some pretty intuitive sense. You might be thinking, well, Mr. Jameson, that's pretty obvious, and, and it kind of is. Um, when you read the text in your textbook, though, it's very hard to decipher that. So we're just, all we're doing is relating the length here of a string to a particular location on the drum, okay? So what that means is I have an input of a length of string, or it could be length of anything, and that maps, that has a relationship with a particular location on the drum. Again, assuming I start at a particular spot, and I go in a particular direction. If I, if I pick this length of string and I went this direction, I would end up one spot. I wouldn't, I wouldn't ever get two spots, unless, of course, I started somewhere else. But assuming we start at the same spot and we go around, that's a mapping. So that means that's a well-defined function, right? Because I, my input, length of string, has exactly one output. Now, why do we care? Well, there is actually a way, there's actually a, a, function, a few functions that will help us determine exactly where we would end up on this particular drum, or circle, is what we'll be studying. So there is a function that tells us where we'll be. If we're starting in a particular spot and going around in a particular direction, it will tell us exactly where we'll end up, or at least some information about that. Um, and that's useful because there are an infinite number of choices I could have in terms of length. If I wanted to pick the full length I would know, but I have an infinite number of choices here in terms of length of string 
that then map to a particular location around the circle. And so what this video series is going to be is I'm going to be dissecting that using that uh, as an example. And so follow along to the next video for, for, for more on this.